As Virginia and North Carolina farmers conclude harvesting their 2015 crops, they're looking forward to 2016 with a focus towards managing costs and maximizing opportunity on every acre. Uh, I've got a lot of 1131 out. I've already harvested um, in excess of 100 acres. Uh, it's, it's yielding about 240 and it hadn't needed anything. It's got rain right along. We put about a little over 200 pounds of nitrogen on it and it's, uh, it's really yielding good. Um, I've planted some 1172. It, it's been a real good hybrid if it gets dry. It's got real good uh, drought resistance. Um, and I've got some 10, or, uh, yeah, 10, 1043 that was planted late. And I, I tell you, it's going to do ever. It, it's going to do well over 200 bushels. It looks really well. So I, I mean, I've had good luck with seed consultants corn, and uh, I, I'm going to be planting it in the future. We at Advanced AgriService understand that a major key to our continued success is staying focused on what we do best, finding and marketing the best corn and soybean varieties for our Virginia and North Carolina customers. That process begins by working closely with our friends at Seed Consultants as they conduct an expansive research effort that leads the industry. And, and again, north to south, this thing can move and it's really created quite a niche because um, of the of the territory that it covers, which kind of surprises with 104 day. And how do we find this, Dale? Through our replicated testing uh, program. You know, we're standing in the middle of 4,000 uh, hybrids that are being replicated here at Washington Courthouse, and uh, and and we do this uh, we do this in the South as well, and uh, and at several locations. And we're constantly looking with Dale uh, every year to find, to uncover that next big hybrid that's going to be a hit for us and, and have, a, have a home run for us. And our research and our testing is what our brand identity is. It's, it's one of the things that we do that's significantly different. Do we have more locations and replications than some of the multinational companies? No. But I would say that you would be hard pressed and challenged to find any multinational company that has more locations where we're selling and that is in the southeast and in the eastern Corn Belt. Over the last 12 years, our relationship with seed consultants has matured and our sales have grown as we have continued to build our variety lineup for our variable soils and volatile weather. We can cite no better example of success in our research than SCS 11HR63. Uh, what would you comment about uh, your observations on the seed consultants this year? Well, last year our yields were way down and we just, we we had some crop, Pretty much, we had some, a uh, lot of blight, a lot of disease, and we just decided to take a different route this year. And we, um, I talked to another farmer that uh, goes a lot of seed consultants, and he was, he was very pleased with it, and he was, you know, he uh, kind of, kind of intrigued me enough that I wanted to give it a try. So I just went 100% seed consultants this year to try to, you know, try something different because last year we didn't have very good yields at all. Uh, we've been extremely pleased. Uh, we cut a little bit of this, this corn yesterday. It's a little, little green, but uh, this corn here is going in the upper 30s, 37, 38 tons of the acre. It's working out great for us. Uh, this is our second year on, on 15 inch rows. Planted around 44,000, 45,000 population. Thought maybe that was a little, a little heavy. We had a couple of uh, heavy thunderstorms uh, after the corn had tossed, so we had a few places the corn went down a little bit. Not, not bad, but. You know what do you expect with uh, with such a high population? So this year we cut it back a little bit. Uh, last year we had uh, we hand checked a lot of corn last year, over 300 bushels. Uh, we think this corn here is you know 260, 270. So we're just uh, just been extremely extremely happy. The uh, NDFD 30 hour NDFD on this corn is uh, it's been you know last year and this year both. Uh, last year we got the samples back, of course, from last year, but uh, it's above average. So. It's a good feeding corn, a good yielding corn, and it'll be part of our program for years to come. Uh, Van, looks like uh, you had a good season on this corn this year. Yeah, we've had a really, we've been really fortunate to have rain. Rain's the main thing, but uh, the, this is about as good a corn as I've ever grown. 11 HR 63, of course, is our top selling silage variety. And as you can see, it's our top seller for a good reason. It's been our yield leader in tonnage for the last several years in our silage plots. Uh, we're on our way this week up to the Shenandoah Valley to uh, um, evaluate another uh, of our silage plots with Nelson Everly and we're, we're looking forward to getting those results and we expect 11HR63 
uh, to lead the pack again this year in 2015 in our silage testing. Uh, and Van, uh, this is first year you've grown any of this hybrid, is that right? Right, yeah. Okay. Well, how's very, this? Very pleased. How's this compare to what you've been growing? Uh, well, you can kind of look at it and see. <laughs> yeah, okay. But uh, normally I have 10 or 15 acres to shale, and it looks like I'm going to have about 40 to shale this year. <laughs> okay. I like to fill up all my silos and have a little extra, and uh, and we're, we're not done chopping. It rained us out last night, but uh, I'm thinking this is probably going to hit right around 30 tons. We think that you'll agree that our discussion about variety selection for 2016 corn production on highly productive soils should begin with SCS 11HR63. But what about our marginal soils and microclimates that limit yields far below the potential of most hybrids? Solution SC1172, SC11AGT74, SC11AQ43, and SCS1094YHR. These are rugged genetics that protect yield by having an extra measure of drought tolerance when things get really tough. We're expanding our territory over into the coastal plains and this is a hybrid that is going to move in, into this territory very, very well and give us early, early dry down, early grow off and is going to handle the heat and the stress that they need over here as well as give us that top end yield potential that we all want to capture. You would be correct to assume that we are excited about our 2016 variety lineup, but that shouldn't be confused with complacency. If there is one obvious lesson from the past 12 years in the seed industry, it's that corn yield potential is rising rapidly. The determination for final uh, progression comes through yield data. And so a product we're standing in front of here today is a product that uh, we've identified as one of those potential that we hope to bring into our lineup that fits in with the 11HR63 and 11AQ72. It's running about 121% or 21% over the average of the testing that we've had in the data set so far. And uh, it's, this is one way that we identify those products that we're gonna move forward with and bring to your farms and, and add to our lineup. Locally adapted varieties and the latest technology. That's a powerful combination for your farm. Our customers and dealers are the heart of our seed business. We take it very seriously when you commit corn acreage to seed consultants. It's teaming with forward-thinking growers like you that make the idea of moving yields forward a reality. We look forward to working with you on your 2016 crop.